Hi folks, Jasko here. So today what I'm doing is I'm removing a drive shaft. Well, what I want to do is I want to remove a drive shaft, but I want to show you the importance of tools because without the right tools, you're going to struggle and you can also risk injury. So there's, there's, there's different tools you can get. There's special tools or there's you know generic tools that you might sometimes be able to source on places on um, popular um, internet marketplaces like eBay or some of the others. But what I wanted to show you is one such where um, I need to remove a drive shaft, but I mean, if you try and pull, it just won't come out. And I want to illustrate to you the importance of the right tool for the, right, for the job. Okay, so here's our drive shaft. There it is there. I mean, no big deal. I've taken out the uh, control arm. I mean, if you try and pull it out like that, it won't budge. You can, you can be pulling all day. And it will not come out no, no matter what you do. I mean, here's our drive shaft. Um, if you try and pull it out by hand, no chance. Don't pull, don't pull it there because if you pull it there, it's going to dislodge the joint. But. What I'm going to do is use a special tool and show you um, how easy it is for it to get it out. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap this wrap this around the um, the, the drive shaft. Okay, right near the, where it goes into the gearbox or the transfer box. Um, well, we're going to tighten that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the slide hammer. Right, we're going to use the leverage on this like that. To, to dislodge it. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so what we're gonna do is wrap this, okay, around the drive shaft. All right, so let's put that up there. There's one, okay, and there is the other. Let's move that wiring loom out of the way. Okay, the first bolt is in. Here's, here's the second one. Okay, what we want to do now is tighten it a little bit, all right, otherwise, so it doesn't slip off. Because what it's going to do, it's going to get us the leverage to pull out the drive shaft.
okay in the other one too. Okay. All right, so now that it's nice and tight, what we can go ahead is we can we can actually start to get the slide hammer. We can get the slide hammer and start to pull it out. Okay. Okay, so here it is. Here as you can see the plate is on. All right. It's nice and tight. What we're going to do is we're going to hook the slide hammer on there and then we're going to do um, do a pull and then it should um, dislodge it from the transfer box or the gearbox um, well it is a transfer box but what I do is I say gearbox because this is commonly inside goes into a gearbox on most cars Okay folks, here it is. 